Strike 12, uh, double depth 108. So we're basically going in about 50, 54 thousandths. Now we are going to make this a little light because we want the nuts to be a little light. And uh, we can always leave a little bit of diameter on there. All right, but let's go ahead and see if we got 12 threads per inch right here real quick. And it looks like 12 on the dial. All right. I'm gonna go get some cutting oil and a few other things there. This should only be about four or five passes across here. About ten thousands at a time. Oh, I missed my dial there. Got this one. When you're free spacing, you can always just roll it back to the next dial uh, number there, and you're and you're good to go. You also oil it while you're cutting. There's oil on there in case you don't quite get there uh, after you set your next number and get to the dial. It's just a little, a little too fast for uh, catching the next number there. You gotta go when you're comfortable. That was 30 thousands. Uh, you know, not at one time. This is 40 thousands. We're taking 10 per, per cut. We do want to leave a crown on the top because that's what we want to leave on our original part, or our tubular part we're going to be threading at the end there. So I'm backing off to five. Still got a nice crown on the end there. Okay, I like this. We're going to take a spring cut, dress it, and then that's going to be our size. And here's our spring cut. Spring cut just means I didn't feed anything in. We're just, whatever the tool bit pressure is, it's taking another cut, and that usually gives it a gloss to finish it. All right. That's gonna be our test male threads for all of our nuts. Okay, we're gonna take a face cut across this, the uh, the nut face here. We're going to take a cut in to give a relief for a circle washer surface. And we're going to bore it. Then we're going to put in the threading bit and we're going to put a, a leading chamfer both front and back. Then we're going to thread it, fit the test plug.
broke my insert. Okay, so your homemade brazed insert threading tool uh, is chipped and you need to uh, index your uh, insert there. Uh, you gotta grab your torch there and uh, go ahead and get it loose. Reset it on the other way. Alright, so first step is to go ahead and heat it, sweat it, get it off of there. On silver solder, you got to get both parts hot at the same time. And you got to have enough heat to become liquid on the silver. Alright, now you got that loose. Don't set it down on your sandpaper because it'll burn the shit out of it. So set it on over there. Okay, we have excess, uh, I don't know if you can see this in here, can you? Okay. We got excess silver here. We want to melt this down onto the end. Okay, it's good floating right on the top there. All right, we're gonna go cool off our insert. Bring it out to a wide angle here. Okay, so we had a silver bond at that side there, and we're gonna we're gonna weld it on the opposite direction, which. Actually, we're just going to pivot it right around. Let's put this right on here and see if we can't reset that right there. Okay, I think it took. Well, it looks like it took. tight in here, a little tight, getting a little tight, okay.
spring cut and we'll check it.